Hi all, in this video we will discuss about uh, map data collection in Salesforce or in Apex. So why map is widely used and uh, how to initialize a map uh, and how to fill that particular map and uh, how to use values from that particular map. So that we will see in today's session. So starting with we have a class called map methods and then we have a method name map method example and then uh, as you can see the map is a map of integer and string the name of that map is m1 we have just created one map now we want to populate that map or we want to get that map some data into it so we have to just use put operation put method or put operation we have to do in on that particular map so the syntax for that is map name that is m1 then dot put and then we have one as a key this will be the key and this will be the value so the one will be the key and the value will be first item in the same way we will enter another value in this particular map that is m1 dot put to second item and then we will debug it to see what the result is in the same way we have different methods so to copy any map we have this method in which uh, we can define m2 map then the name of that map can be anything just put some value in that particular map then we will create another map which will have same data type integer and string and then we will just copy all the data from m2 in this particular map okay so m3 will consist of all the data from m2 so m3 will copy all the data from m2 and then oh, we can have map of type id and a subject where a subject can be any standard or custom object so we will just uh, query all the records which we want and then we will create a map of id and a subject that is account in this case and that if we want to directly fill that map then we can use this way otherwise we have to use if condition like if the list if in the list the name of that particular account is something abc or xyz then only we want to fill that map so in that case we have to use if condition and in that only uh, we can populate that map for that particular records which we want to uh, might be on which uh, we want to work later in that particular code okay then we can just use this thing to uh, know all the things which are there in map that's why we have used json dot serialize pretty that m m is the map name okay so we will just see the result of this oh okay so the map example is now method example one so we will just execute it and uh, the results are yeah, we can click on debug only so the first map is having two values that is one is one is the key and the value is first item sec two is the key and the value is second item okay as you can see in this example in this m1 we have only two things now if we go to the second one oh like m2 m2 has the same two values 1 and 2 and m3 is copying all the data from m2 so they will both will have the same values so as you can see m2 is having the same values and m3 is also having the same value because m3 is copied from m2 then the third is to get all the account details where the name of that particular account is united oil and gas corporation so in that case we have used this json dot serialize serialize pretty so we will get all the attributes like account and then id and the name because id and name were there in select query that's why and the id 
of this is uh, this particular id and this is the value okay now we will move ahead and see some of the some of the methods so so we are now pretty much aware like how to define a particular map or how we can initialize a map by using put statement so this is the map uh, the type of the map is map of string and string and the name of that map is student department <coughs> we will just put d d01 and csc this will be the department and if you want the particular key for an example we have put this all things in the map and we want uh, the value which is there in first location or in this particular id that is d01 so what we will do is we will just get it from that map by using get method so the map name dot get and the id name so the id is d01 in our case when we are working on some object it can be the id of that particular record okay to get a value and the value of this d01 will be csa then uh, we have key set method that is system dot debug uh, in this we are just getting all the set of keys which is there in that particular map so in this map we have d01 d02 d03 d04 so all this map all these key values will be there in this key set so the map name dot key set will give us all the key values that is the ids then system dot debug department values are uh, so that map name dot values will give us all the values in in that particular map that is csc civil map triple e okay and if we want to check the size of that particular map then we can use integer integer variable we have created and in that we will store the map size that is the map name dot size this is the function then we we can clone map like map string of string student department and we will change the map name because uh, if we will keep the same name then there will be an error and then from where we want to clone that so we want to clone or we want to make this map from the existing map that is student department dot clone so all the values will be cloned if we clear any map we have to just give it the map name dot clear and all the map will be cleared so uh, when we will check this line of debug 54 it will have all the values and when we will check 57 there will be no value because the map has been cleared now. okay so let's see the debug we will go to anonymous window and this will be the method name which we want to execute so execute highlighted map methods column 12 okay i will just see oh sorry it's map one execute it i will just click on debug only and we will go all the debugs so as we stated first we have d01 csc so d01 is the key and csc is the value now when we want to get what is in d01 by using get method so this is csc okay the key value is d01 and the value of that particular key is csc that's why it is only showing us csc then we want to get all the keys in that particular map so this will give us the key set will give us all the ids in that particular map and then we are trying to get all the values in that particular map then map dot values will give us all the values which we are which we are having in that particular map so as you can see all the values are there in this and then we want to check the size of that particular map so the size of that particular map is four because we have only four values in this as you can see we have four then uh, we have cloned that particular map the existing map into new map just for cloning this thing uh, you have to take care like uh, the 
the map you are cloning from and the map you are cloning the value into should have the same uh, this data types like if it is string 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 of string then it should be string of string if it is integer to uh, integer and string then it should be integer and string because if the data types doesn't match uh, the clone will not work so we will get all the values for this like we can check on the 54 line number we are getting all the values as you can as you know like we have now used clear function of map to clear the map so there will be no value in this particular map now so as you can see it is empty now so that's all for the map methods thank you have a nice day